What are the core values that guide your life? I know it's a complicated question because a lot of times we don't think about it. Yeah. Um, have you given it any thought? Uh, I actually have given that some thought. Um, and that's a, that's a pretty deep question. Uh, well, one, one that was a value of mine, uh, and actually I don't live up to it as much as I'd like to, is just to be rational about my actions. Um, in poker, that's super important because if you're not rational, you're going to lose money. <laughs> but uh, also, um, I think that if people are are truly rational, they uh, uh, the quality of everyone's life benefits because um, it's it's how do I explain? Like to me, for me to be rational is to do like the right thing, even though it's even though the right thing, pretty much no matter what, even though it's it's uh, it's hard, and the the implications of that are pretty far-reaching. I think, uh, as far as like even like eating healthy, which now I'm doing at least, and uh, uh, and just treating people in a better way. Uh, and, and those that's something that I really value a lot. Uh, uh, I definitely not perfect in that that avenue. Uh, but, but, but pretty good, perfect. But you, know, poker, you but. are aware. You are aware, though, of these are the values that I would like to live my life by. Yes. And and but you're measure, you're checking in every now and then, and you're realizing I am in some areas and I'm not in other areas. Yeah. You're very aware. Well, uh, yeah. Um, I mean, sometimes I'm more aware than others. Uh, admittedly, I've definitely made mistakes in that avenue also, which brings to the next value, which would be the integration, which would be integrity, which is the integration between. Your values and who you actually are. Like it's not very valuable to uh, to state a value and not be able to follow through on it. Similar to someone who promises something and can't deliver. Uh, so I also value that. Uh, so it's not quite the same thing. And then I think lastly, uh, I mean, I guess this is this happened more over time. Is just to uh, I think one other thing that I value is just. Something like progress or like ambition. Mm. Uh, in poker, in in poker, I really, uh, I, I think I really have that. But uh, yeah, just the, the, the like the, it's it's. I think the simplest way to describe it is just like the, like the pressure to progress. That's that's the only way I can really describe it. Just to keep going forward and trying to get better and better. What What is the one thing that you set out this year that you wanted to achieve? Have you achieved it? If not, why not? Um, well, let's see. I didn't, I didn't really have a specific goals for this year. I wanted to uh, be more involved in cryptocurrency. Uh, I guess lately I also wanted to get my health uh, on track and like be more consistent in the gym uh, and stuff, which I have been. I have actually done that. Um, I've done surprisingly a good job of that because historically it was always a problem for me to go to the gym multiple times a day, a, a week especially with my schedule, and also uh, eat healthy, which was really a hard thing for me. Somehow, I was able to do that. But uh, yeah, the cryptocurrency thing, um, I wanted to do that, but then I realized like how much work it would actually be to do something proficient with cryptocurrency, and that uh, some friends of mine actually are pretty adept at, at doing stuff with that. It's going back to uh, wanting to be a professor again and realizing that, hang on a minute, this is gonna take a lot of work, yeah. To do this, you, you're feeling the same thing with the crypto, are you? Um, well, uh, there's there's a subtle difference. It's that in crypto, the incentive is a little bit more clear in that I'd, I'd be wanted to make money and has like some more real world, real world implications than necessarily being a professor. Like I imagine a professor will uh, will just like do a bunch of research and maybe make some like breakthroughs, but it won't. I mean, yeah, like it's. There, it seems that their incentives are, the way that incentives are aligned with their payoffs is a bit different. Uh, it seems more like they're really into learning in the first place or, or teaching, which I'm interested in, but I'm not, uh, not so interested that uh, I would want to, um, want to do that full time. And, and also to forego the opportunity of like making money from what I'm doing.